It's Thursday, the 7th day of June 2012. I'm Alex Jones, and this is another edition of InfoWars Nightly News. Straight ahead. Tonight, globalist social engineers subliminally prepared the public for 9 11 as we look back at a creepy collection of premonitions. Then, Time Magazine wants you to know how to die, and Bill Gates likes death panels. Then, financial terrorism exposed. InfoWars goes to London to cover the very first financial terrorism conference. All that plus an interview with RT's Abby Martin. That's up next on the InfoWars Nightly News. First up tonight, InfoWars.com's latest headlines. Here's one that's extremely important for the American people. Scientific study links antidepressants in drinking water to autism rising. Yeah, it's a cocktail of uh, toxins, pesticides, mercury in the shots, all contributing. Psychoactive drugs in our drinking water could be triggering autism, notes biology professor in a new study published in The New Scientist. And they've done other studies of water supplies around the United States that shouldn't even have Prozac-type drugs in them, but they do. Well, we know the globalists just don't add fluoride and lithium and radioactive isotopes to our water. Oh, you didn't do that? Look into it. It's also serotonin reuptake inhibitors known as Prozac, first rolled out by the Eli Lilly Corporation and the monster Dan Quayle. So there is that report for you. Continuing, another report out of New Scientist, and Paul Watson did a big report on their report, giving people some of the background and the rest of the story. Carnegie Institute calls for spraying aerosols to block the sun. Of course, a globalist back in the early 90s won a big award, a Nobel Science Prize for this, and since then, they're doing it across the board. Now at Carnegie Institution for Science, proposal to spray aerosol particles into the upper atmosphere to block out the sun and tackle global warming would turn sunny skies into hazy white, like has already happened, a process that many contend is, ar is already taking place via chemtrail phenomenon. Well, NASA admits the Earth is 20% darker than it was just a decade ago. Look it up for yourself. That's why Bill Gates has bought the biggest geoengineering company to do this, knowing there's going to be government funding from it. They're going to control the weather in the name of protecting you from evil weather fluctuations that they say are abnormal. They're now teaching school children that the seasons are abnormal. Don't believe me? Look it up for yourself. You cannot make up the level of absurdity we're dealing with. Now, this should be our top story tonight, but it just broke, so we're just covering it here briefly. Rockefeller Foundation predicts 13,000 dead at London Olympics in 2012. They also predict in this report that a bio-release will kill millions and will be used to set up a police state. They, they think you're stupid and don't read this, and they're openly down there in the timeline. If we scroll down, we can show people. Uh, saying that a bio-weapon release will be used to sell authoritarianism here in the United States and worldwide. They play with our little world like it's their little toy. And continuing, we have classic false flag coming up in just a few days, the 45th anniversary of the attack on the USS Liberty by the Israeli government working with the Pentagon and LBJ, and I've had all the big officers on, the admirals, you name it, who were on the radio, when over the phone patch, the president came on and said, listen, you follow what McNamara says, I want that GD ship on the bottom. But they kept the ship afloat, couldn't blame it on Egypt, and that is the rest of the story. Israeli pilots have spoken out about it as well. They were ordered to do that as a false flag attack. Our military is expendable by the globalists. That's why they've killed thousands of them in secret tests that have been declassified, including radiation and chem attacks, murdering troops in chambers, telling their family they died in car wrecks and from the flu. Now let's move to the main body of news. I covered this a lot on the radio today. Mike Adams has a big report out on it. It actually talks about giving bonuses 
to hospital workers and doctors to not resuscitate and not save people. Big hospitals have also been caught taking people's organs. Uh, this guy, uh, Joe Klein, talks about how troublesome his parents were uh, and all the things they did when they were old. And, well, then uh, his dad had broken a rib, and they said, if he ever gets resuscitated, he may break another rib. And he says, well, my dad's tough. Uh, it's a pretty amazing quote. Uh, he said, so I approve, do not resuscitate, order for dad. Now, that's the double thing. You know, dad, like here's the quote right here, dad might have gotten a rib broken, which a defibrillator doesn't do, if he ever got resuscitated. So to be nice to him, in case he broke a rib, we, we said don't save him. Kill him to save him. That's New World Order logic. And again, they do overdo it sometimes. Hospitals do. But that's up to the individual. It's their money. But once they socialize things, they can say, well, you're paying for it too. So now none of you get any care. And again, you pay more for water, get less. Pay more for power, get less. Pay more for your house, get less. Pay more for your car, get less. That's the globalist post-industrial model. They don't want you being wealthy. The globalists talk endlessly in their financial papers that are even published that their trouble is keeping the economy shut down. Saying the middle class that buy cars or houses are bad. No, no, no. That's what keeps the entire economy going. Yeah, kill granny, get a cash bonus. Now, it's not just Time Magazine coming out with this. We actually have a graphic here uh, that shows the case for killing granny, how great it is to unplug them. And again, they want the death panels. That's what Bill Gates talks about. In fact, we have a video clip of Bill Gates talking about this, but in Time Magazine, uh, they talk about, again, unplugging grandma, but they also, in this article, um, again, Newsweek is the case for killing granny. We're teleprompter free, so I have to keep all this in my mind. Uh, Time Magazine is, uh, you know, how to die. And in this report, uh, he says, my parents died serenely with dignity. When you are a death panel, that is the very best you can hope for. So again, they said the death panels didn't exist, but now they're saying they're super trendy and super cool and the doctors will get bonuses for dispatching you unless you're an elitist globalist, just like over in England, uh, where the elitist all get private doctors, everybody else, oh, well, you got a brain surgery that's 100% operable if it's done within a month, you're gonna wait 18 months and die. You understand? That's how this works. And they don't want you to be able to medically travel somewhere else and get the health care. They're moving to block that. This is the medical tyranny. This is how it always starts. Yeah, his foundation, tax-free, he takes his profits, then only uses the profit to pay a few percentage points of a teacher's salary to totally control the curriculum. This guy wants the globalist model of deciding what you're going to be. He is a monster eugenicist who was at Bilderberg last week and did cover his face, but the Washington Post, who had people inside, uh, did report that Billy Gates, Mr. Eugenics, Mr. Death Panel, was indeed there. And again, since government got involved in health care, that's what's created all the fraud, waste, and abuse lobbied on by the big bank-controlled insurance companies. You don't want eugenicist, globalist, death panel-run health care. And when he talks about, oh, unneeded test, well, that's your personal decision, whether you want those tests or not. They want to say it's about tests, but really it's about controlling what procedures you get, and they admit all of that. Daschle, who helped write the plan with Mitt Romney, wrote in a book five years ago, former leader of the Senate, that he wanted it to where if you were above 65, you wouldn't get an eye surgery. I mean, you need to look this stuff up. You want this guy in charge of your health care? Because he wants in charge of it. He's involved in everything. He's involved, Carnegie's like, give him money to save us from global warming with jets spraying aluminum dioxide on us that give us Alzheimer's. He's in weather modification stuff. I mean, this guy is Dr. Evil. And all the back doors he builds in his software for the NSA to illegally spy on you. We told you about that forever ago. But you know what? Free humanity is awakening to this and is starting to engage the globalists. You know, for decades, we've seen the famous Tiananmen Square images from 1989, but just now they've released the full photo. It had always been cropped, I think that's about 10 times more powerful, it had always been cropped down to just the little guy and the four tanks holding him up. 
but I counted it. It's more than 60 tanks. It's like 14 in the line and then more than 40 behind that, all boxed up because of one guy getting in front of the tanks. And that's an example of what we can all do. None of us have to shut it all down ourselves. But just say no when the, when the business is asking you a bunch of questions to put in a database. Say no to the cop when he wants to search your car and tell him about the Fourth Amendment. Uh, say no. Have your child, when they go to a government training camp, use it as a way to bring books and videos and materials to people to wake them up. Do little things. Expose the globalist, and that will grow into big things. They thought they could use the web to just shovel their propaganda at us and track us. Now they want to censor it because they realize we've taken the initiative. We can and will beat these people. We don't have a choice.